That's okay.
cases right that's good you know so I'll put them I'll put them first thank you I'm glad you mentioned that and then when Debbie comes up here I'm, I'm thinking we just hand from here yes okay yep that works out really well yeah um, I just need let's see I need that long skinny box and those will have to go up first. So tell me one more time and I'll tell um, I told her but there's another girl. If they had anything lower than three five first semester, regardless, it was a three four. Overall, not the semester, but overall. Correct. Yeah, it's got to be. She said she print, this new one has a printed. Yeah. Well, see, that's probably college. with her spring grades. Okay. Okay. So, so again, the the um, honors were as of the fall. Okay. Perfect. 
so much. Thank you. I'll, um, I'll tell everyone doing the tickets because they're the ones getting the questions. Yeah. All right. And the associates are going first, Lynn, um, which is good because then this way they won't end all end up with extra pieces like last year. Yes. Okay, so I didn't know it, but Jill just told us so we did a quick switch. This is Catherine, by the way. Hi. <laughs> Catherine, this is Lynn Corn, the registrar. Oh, the traffic was horrible. You know, Quinnipiac has their commencement. And so when I came across, I got caught in all that traffic. That's a you know, Well, I left early because I wasn't sure about the, you know, they were saying the 91, 95, everybody else, you know, ones? pour onto the merit. No, that one goes right where you are. Just push it back. Okay. That's the bachelor, yeah. Yeah. Um, Actually, do we need it more?
But there'll be the um, there'll be people that have already gone in front. I think the the uh, bearers, the uh, the meat bearers, are always already standing up in front. We cut in over here. We cut in over here, I believe. And then we're sitting back here.
your attention, please. Will all students report to the lineup rooms and all guests take their seats in the theater? All students report to the lineup rooms and all guests take their seats in the theater, please.
please take note of the emergency days that are front, rear, and sides of the auditorium. And please take a moment to note the closest places to you. In the unlikely event of an emergency, please proceed calmly and in a loving fashion to the nearest station. Thank you and enjoy the show. here so I'll have the box right back here. No, just leave it here. It stays oh. right there. So you're going to walk up behind them when the first three, Mary Miller and Carl Barrett, I think. Are, no. Or it's, I think it's Randall Parkinson. So they'll be standing box. here. They're going to stand right here. They're going to hand. The students are going to come up right yeah. here and hand the card. They're going to read their name. They're going to get their diploma from Debbie Chin. Yeah. And then cross the stage. So as soon as they hand you that card, you stick it right in the box. Okay. Just in the order that they come up. Okay. And they're going to alternate. So the next card, you know. Okay. So whatever name that's read from here, you put in that box. Okay, and the box will be right here. The box is right here. And they're going to be standing here, so... They're going to be standing here, so you could stand here, and they usually just kind of hand it over their shoulder. But I hand, they hand over the shoulder, and then they put it in the box here. Oh, you hold the box. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, you right. mean later. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. All right. You hold the box. I thought I that was... Okay. Yeah. No, you wrap around it, then. You get back up there.
Morning. Good morning. Welcome to the University of New Haven Spring Commencement Ceremony. Uh, 
My name is Ron Quagliani. I'm the University of New Haven's Public Safety Director. The procession will begin shortly. All graduates should be in their designated assembly room at this time. Doors to the theater will be closed shortly to allow for the processional to enter the theater. Seating will resume once the processional has concluded. Before we begin, I'd like to review a few safety and housekeeping items with you. In order to be in compliance with the fire safety code, everyone in attendance must remain seated during the ceremony. Please keep the aisles clear. The university has professional photographers capturing every graduate receiving their diploma, so it's not necessary to approach the stage. University of New Haven and Toyota Presents Oakdale Theater staff are positioned throughout the building in case you need assistance. They, as well as members of the University of New Haven Police Department, will be stationed at the exits during the ceremony and will assist you in exiting the theater in the event of an emergency. Please take a moment to identify the exits closest to your seat. We ask at this time that you please silence your cell phones. State law prohibits smoking inside this building. Please show your respect and courtesy to all our graduates today by remaining in your seats until the ceremony has concluded. Thank you for your cooperation and enjoy the ceremony.
Please be seated. Good morning. I have the honor of convening the 90th commencement of the University of New Haven. As chair of the Board of Governors, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this joyous occasion. Today we celebrate the achievements of our graduates and recognize their years of hard work, commitment, and self-sacrifice. We also applaud their families and friends for their support and encouragement. Please join me in recognizing the New Haven County Firefighters Emerald Society Pipe and Drum and the UNH Jazz Combo. <laughs> Would you please stand as Christina Tomarelli, an English and Communication major and member of the class of 2014 leads us in singing our national anthem. And Martin J. O'Connor, alumnus. <laughs> alumnus, campus minister, and member of the faculty delivers the invocation. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh the Parts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in agony, ruled through the night that our flag was still there. Oh. Say, does that star-spangled a hurried way o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Christina. Our friend Shakespeare concludes one of his sonnets with the very daunting line, love that well which thou must leave ere long. Well, today our graduates take leave of what we trust they have loved. After four or five or more years, our graduates come together in an unfamiliar place. They sit quietly for a bit, and then they receive their diplomas from President Kaplan and walk off this stage to take on the adventures and the challenges that await them. And so today, each of our graduates and each of us ask the question that another extraordinary poet, Mary Oliver, has given us. Tell me, what is it that you plan to do with your one wild and precious life. And it is in that spirit that we offer this prayer. Good and gracious one, the source of all that is true and the giver of purpose and meaning to our world and to each of our lives, bless this day and every day. Open our eyes to the mystery of your presence among us. Help us to grow in our love and service of you and one another. 
Bless those who graduate today. May they flourish in their lives and find satisfaction and joy in all that they do. Help them and each one of us to remember that we are all a part of something much larger than any one of us. Bless all of our students, our faculty, our staff, and all who support our wonderful university. Keep us always faithful to your summons to follow your truth, wherever it may lead. Because in the end, this will bring us back to you. And we make our prayer this day and every day to a tender and a loving God. Amen. Amen. We have a problem. I was told to adhere to the script, and the script does not say, please be seated. Thank you for your entrepreneurship. I want to thank Christina for that incredibly stirring, powerful rendition of our national anthem. And of course, Mark. And Marty O'Connor, not only for his inspiring words, but clearly for the inspiration he's been to so many of you uh, over the time you've been at the university. So good morning, graduates of the class of 2013. You're out to set a record, you're, you're getting there. Good morning, parents, families, friends, faculty, alumni, and members of the Board of Governors. I am proud and privileged to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates today. They have come so far, and it is fitting that we honor their discipline and their commitment. Let me briefly share a few of their stories with you to illustrate the passion, drive, and creativity of our students. And as I share these stories, I encourage you to listen closely. These are just a few samples of the many wonderful lives that we've been able to participate in and help transform at the university uh, over the last several years. These are, there are many other remarkable stories. These are just some of them. Derek Jelisovskikowski, a marine biology major, recently turned, returned from Washington, D.C., where he presented cutting-edge research to Congress about the development of the Bay Scala to Congress. His findings are critically important to the multi-million dollar shell fishing industry in Connecticut. After graduation, he will continue working at the National Marine Fisheries Service Lab in Milford, Connecticut. Amber Bonds, a member of the Honors Program, who is graduating with a double major in Forensic Science and Biology, and will begin a PhD program at SUNY Stony Brook, where she will conduct research on neurodegenerative diseases with a focus on Alzheimer's disease. As a student, she studied in Spain, study abroad program and conducted research in molecular biology. Ji Fu Liu, a math major who is graduating today with honors and was accepted to Columbia University where he will pursue a master's degree in actuarial science. A native of China, he also served as a math and physics tutor at the university. Brian Carl Newman is graduating today with a triple major. triple major in forensic science, biology, and biotechnology. I understand that his family wished he had chosen some more challenging fields, <laughs> along with a minor in chemistry. He will continue his studies in the molecular and cellular biology PhD program at Dartmouth College, conducting research in genetics and the biochemistry of cancer biology. Elizabeth Field. Double major in history and political science, was a member of the honors program, editor in chief of the Charger Bulletin, and a legislative intern for the Connecticut General Assembly. A California native, she will enroll at Trinity College in Dublin to pursue a master's degree in 
gender history. Kenneth Hall. Does anyone know Kenneth Hall? <laughs> Kenneth Hall, a management music industry double major, received the 2013 Undergraduate Award of Distinction given by the North American Interfraternity Conference. Last summer, Hall was chosen from among 13,000 undergraduates as the, quote, true gentleman of the year. The highest award given by the Sigma Alpha Epsilon Fraternity out of 13,000 undergraduates. These are but a few of the many remarkable stories represented by today's graduates. Would all of those students who are mentioned please stand and be recognized?
University of New Haven, class of 2013. <laughs> President Kaplan, distinguished faculty, family members and friends, I am deeply honored and humbled to receive an honorary degree and for the privilege of participating in this special occasion here today. To the graduating class, congratulations. No one has worked harder, sacrificed more, or demonstrated the power of the human spirit more than this class of degree recipients. You inspire me. Well done. Now, I, I do have to uh, admit that I'm a little bit nervous here today for, for a few reasons. One, getting an honorary degree now means that I am officially old. Uh, and I'm having a little bit of trouble coping with this. Secondly, it's simply not easy to write a good commencement speech with the goal of imparting some practical wisdom and homespun advice that I've learned about work and about life since I graduated from college, but mostly it's on account of the feedback about my presentation skills that I recently got from a conference that I spoke at about a month ago. One speaker evaluation form said, if I had only one hour to live, I would choose to spend it at one of your presentations. And I thought this was the best compliment I've ever gotten except there was a little arrow instructing me to turn the card over, which I did, and it said, because only at one of your speeches does an hour seem like an eternity. <laughs> so, President Kaplan, I promise I'll keep my remarks to less than 15 minutes. Um, let me tell you why I'm so excited to be here. Um, the University of New Haven is the pathway to future success for thousands of students in the greater New Haven area and from around the world. And by enrolling in this world-class university, you have already made one of the best decisions of your lives. This school is a model for the world in how to best provide an outstanding education in high growth industries, uh, preparing students with the skills for opportunities and careers that don't yet even exist. You have a tremendous edge in today's job market, not just because of the reputation of the University of New Haven and its rigorous academic curriculum, because you already have practical work experience that you can't learn from a textbook. You have relationships with professors and teachers who are active leaders in their respective fields. You have a terrific understanding about how the real world works, and you possess the self-confidence that employers desperately need. Now, some say that adolescence is the hardest part of life, but I disagree. For me, I experienced many more growing pains in my 20s than I did in my teenage years. This was a time where I had to initiate my career path, figure out the type of work that, I would, that would be meaningful to me and hopefully also have a social impact, and to deal with enormous societal pressures to succeed. But it was only after college did I fully realize how strongly I felt about my life experiences as a pediatric cancer survivor and person with a disability and realize how much they have shaped my life and thinking. I was only 12 years old when I lost my leg to bone cancer. And I remember my father coming into my hospital room and telling me that the doctors would have to remove part of my leg. And I thought by that he meant that they would simply have to carve out the swollen part right below my kneecap. And he said, well, not exactly, from the knee down. And I can remember how shocked and horrified I was by that. I felt my life was over. I felt that I would no longer be able to do the things that I love to do, that I was going to be some sort of deformed freak with no hair that people would gawk at, that no one would want to be my friend, and certainly no girl would possibly want to be with somebody like me. And years later, I realized that my experience with cancer and surviving the two years of chemotherapy that almost killed me and learning to live with and accept my disability were, in fact, the defining moments of my life. My struggles became a transformational experience for the better and shaped who I am today. It's enabled me to put the stresses and problems of everyday life into their proper perspective, and it's opened my eyes 
to the difficult circumstances that other families face and made me realize how fortunate I really am. These experiences led me to decide to become a healthcare attorney and civil rights activist for people with disabilities. And I hope that some of you here today get involved in the area of disability law. It's the final frontier of civil rights. And these laws are relatively new and evolving, and they're just being shaped right now. So it's a unique chance to make a difference in this world. And the need is huge. In Connecticut alone, there are over half a million citizens with disabilities who face enormous social isolation, poverty, unemployment, stigma, bullying in school. And I want to ensure that people with disabilities are afforded the same rights and opportunities as everyone else and are treated with respect and understanding. Caring about the rights of people with disabilities and dreams of people with disabilities is not about advancing the needs of some narrow interest group. These issues affect or will affect because of the demographics of our aging population and the long-term care needs of our society. They're going to affect every single family in this audience. But my experience has taught me other things. For example, to be grateful when things don't always go my way. Change and unpredictability present rare opportunities to learn about yourself. And being able to adapt easily to new situations is one of the keys to success. Possessing adaptability, I think, is just as important, if not more so, than raw intellect. And it's only perfected when people are repeatedly faced with unexpected circumstances. Just for example, handicapped skiing is now called adaptive sports. Why? Because people are very creative about the equipment that they use in order to find a way to get down the mountain. And as future leaders, you will need to consider all potential solutions and workarounds and crazy ideas before making a final decision about a specific problem that you're facing. So I say that being adaptable, keeping an open mind, and knowing how to turn vulnerability into a strength will be one of your greatest skills. Another lesson I've learned is the power of perseverance. My father was my hero. The quality of his that I most admire and the key to his success was that he never gave up. And I tried to emulate his example every day. As a US senator for almost 50 years, he understood that social and political progress is made little by little through dedication and determination. He was never discouraged by legislative setbacks because he was in it for the long haul. In fact, defeat made him work even harder. He fought like hell for what he believed in, but he was also never afraid to cross the aisle and compromise with his Republican friends if he thought he could make progress on an issue. In our modern culture, where people have an average of seven jobs by the time they turn 30, and given that it's too late now for you to create an internet company in your dorm room, my hope for you today is that you don't lose sight of this important ingredient of success. As you prepare to go out and conquer the world, remember to look beyond the workplace and find a cause that is greater than yourself, something that you can feel passionate about. My point is that today people are focusing more and more about what it takes to get a good job and less and less about other aspects of life where true success and fulfillment are ultimately attained. Our culture teaches us to be success objects. What I mean by that is until we're told by our culture that until we drive a BMW, we're not successful. Don't make the mistake of defining yourself exclusively by what you choose to do for a living or how much money you earn. Whatever you choose, remember, you are not your job. On their deathbed, no one has ever uttered the words, I should have spent more time at the office. Um, and the last time I checked, they don't make a hearse with a roof rack. So ask your grandparents here, when all what they say 
When all is said and done, what really creates self-worth and self-value, what really defines our character, and what we are ultimately the most proud of is what we have done for others and the relationships that we have cultivated. I admire the University of New Haven for its constant commitment to communitarianism. Communitarianism is the belief that we're all part of a greater society, that the goal of education is not just to enable personal success, but to promote future leaders who will work towards political and economic fairness for everyone. You have tutored middle school students, volunteered at Columbus House and the Boys and Girls Club. You have helped exonerate wrongly convicted individuals through your innocence projects. You've mapped Long Island Sound. And I've, I understand that there are actually several volunteer firefighters in this graduating class. Well, I, I, ha I did have to ask myself and wonder who's tougher, them or members of the women's volleyball team. <laughs> I say go Chargers, I don't know about you. My only complaint, uh, Dr. Kaplan, is that I think you need to do a better job ghost busting over in Maxie Hall. <clears throat> Look, I know that the problems of the world can seem daunting, but I believe that political action can also be a tremendous lever for social change. I know that every single degree recipient has something to contribute and can participate in the political process in your own way, even if it is, it is only your commitment to vote in every election. As an attorney, I once represented a family whose disabled child had been continuously denied access to services in her school, and the parents told me that the same situation affected many other students in her district. And I asked the mother if she ever considered appealing and presenting and organizing the other parents before the school board at a monthly meeting. She said, I can't do that. I've never testified before in a hearing like that. And I said, yes, you can. And you know what? She was successful. And she didn't have any special skills. What she had was perseverance. What she had was passion. And what she had was an authenticity, an unscripted uh, message that we're so desperate for. So everyone here has a story to tell about the issues that you care about. I realize that some of you may think that our political system today is broken. And I too am very sad about the divisiveness and intolerance in political life today, with each side constantly demonizing the other. And I believe that name calling is un-American because it devalues the important work that needs to get done, it undermines our democracy, and it's unfair to public officials who are worthy of our respect, whether we voted for them or not. We can all work to tone down the angry rhetoric and, and demand that others do so when they are in our presence. Finally, and most importantly, I urge you to marry someone smarter than you are. I did, and she's here with me today and it was the single best decision that I ever made. So now, go take on the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ted, for that very powerful, very concise, uh, and, and very illuminating talk. Uh, it is now uh, my honor to present those candidates uh, who will be receiving honorary doctorates. Uh, the first is our keynote speaker. I have the privilege of presenting Ted Kennedy, Jr. for an honorary degree. The citation reads as follows. Ted Kennedy, Jr., dedicated public servant, steadfast advocate for the disabled, thought leader in the field of health law, as co-founder and president of the Marwood Group, you have led a team of more than 100 in advising asset managers and hospitals, as well as pharmaceutical, biotechnology, and medical device companies on cutting edge market trends and critical regulatory issues facing those industries. Previously, you maintained a leading health law practice as an attorney at the law firm of Wigan and Dana in New Haven 
where you helped hospitals, home care agencies, long-term care providers, physician practices, and mental health providers navigate state and federal regulatory and reimbursement issues. You also admirably served as Director of Legal and Regulatory Affairs at the Connecticut Hospital Association, counseling acute care providers and policymakers on a wide variety of emerging healthcare issues. A graduate of Wesleyan University, Yale University School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, and the University of Connecticut Law School, you have dedicated your life to fighting for the rights of people with disabilities. For the past 15 years, you have served as a member of the board of the American Association of People with Disabilities, the country's largest disability civil rights and public policy organization. You have been a member of the executive committee of the President's Committee on Employment of People with Disabilities and on the boards of Special Olympics International and Connecticut's Office of Protection and Advocacy for Persons with Disabilities. You have played an instrumental role in Connecticut's efforts to address pediatric lead poisoning. Ted Kennedy, Jr., in recognition of your remarkable efforts to develop the Marwood Group into a leading healthcare advisory firm, your tireless commitment to help the disabled members of our community, and your unwavering efforts to advance the field of health law, the University of New Haven is pleased to confer upon you the degree of, honor, of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. You did it, Kennedy. All right. <laughs> Some extra credit for that student. <laughs> Ted Kennedy, Jr. has been duly recommended by the Selection Committee to receive an honorary degree from the University of New Haven. I now will bestow upon him the, doc the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Ted Kennedy, Jr., by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, I am pleased to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to present the Honorable Luby Harper, Jr. for an honorary degree. Justice Harper was named to the Connecticut State Supreme Court in 2011, following six years on the appellate court and eight years on the Superior Court. He is a 1965 graduate of the University of New Haven. <laughs> the citation reads as follows. Luby Harper, Jr., thoughtful, fair, and deliberate jurist, steadfast supporter of education, passionate advocate for social justice, a distinguished member of Connecticut's judiciary for nearly 20 years, you are entrusted with enforcing the laws that protect the people of Connecticut. You were named to the Superior Court in 1997 and elevated to the Appellate Court in 2005. In 2011, Governor Daniel Malloy appointed you to the Supreme Court. Following your admirable service on the state's highest court, you currently sit by designation on the appellate court. You have been involved in countless noteworthy cases throughout your career. In 2008, while serving by assignment on the Supreme Court, you courageously cast the swing vote in the court's landmark ruling to legalize same-sex marriage in Connecticut. You began your career in law maintaining a private practice. Perfectly aligned with your support of education, your first client was the New Haven Board of Education, which you ably represented for more than 20 years. In addition to your work on the bench, you have dedicated your life to giving back to the community. 
You are the chairman of Connecticut's Commission on Racial and Ethnic Disparity in the Criminal Justice System and serve on the advisory board of the newly created Institute for Social Justice at the University of New Haven. A New Haven native, you attended Wilbur Cross High School and graduated with a degree in public administration from UNH. You went on to complete a master's degree in social work and earned your law degree at the University of Connecticut. Luby Harper, Jr., in recognition of your meritorious service as a member of the Connecticut's ju judiciary, your commitment to social justice, and your consistent support of education, the University of New Haven is pleased to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Mr. President, Luby Harper, Jr. has been duly recommended by the Selection Committee to receive an honorary degree from the University of New Haven. I now ask you to bestow upon him the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Justice Luby Harper, Jr., by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, I am pleased to confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations. I have the privilege I have the privilege of presenting Richard O. Kaufman for an honorary degree. Mr. Kaufman was the founder and former CEO of Thermal Engineering of Arizona, a company that designs and installs systems to heat and clean water used in commercial laundry textile industries. The two-time graduate of the University of New Haven, Mr. Kaufman has held five registered patents. The university is awarding this degree to Mr. Kaufman posthumously, accepting on his behalf are his son Kenneth Kaufman and daughter Laura Moranto. The citation reads as follows. Richard O. Kaufman, pioneering engineer, innovative building and passionate problem solver, dedicated volunteer, a visionary in commercial laundry industry. He designed a state-of-the-art continuous flow laundry system. When a system or process did not exist, he invented it. He held five registered patents. He showed remarkable ingenuity from a young age during the Korean War when he was assigned to work in the military laundry extracting mustard gas from the uniforms. He was already starting to devise a better way. After service to his country, he arrived to the University of New Haven, where he attained an associate's degree and a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering. As the founder of Thermal Engineering of Arizona, he and his firm designed and installed systems to heat and clean water used in commercial laundries and textile industries. As CEO, he oversaw the company's remarkable growth building 1,500 of the largest commercial laundry systems in the United States. His passion for devising and building carried over to his home and volunteer life. As a young volunteer of the North Madison, Connecticut Fire Department, he saw the need for a new firehouse, so he designed one. He stayed on and volunteered for many years. Later, he designed and built his family's unique 360-degree round home in Tucson. By establishing the Richard O. Kaufman Scholarship Fund for Innovative Engineering in his memory, his family has assured the future students with creative minds and an eye for design will be able to make their dream of education a reality at the University of New Haven. In recognition of his inventive mind, his stellar career in engineering, and his commitment to volunteer 
causes, the University of New Haven is pleased to confer upon Richard O. Kaufman the degree of Doctor of Engineering Honoris Causa. Mr. President, Richard O. Kaufman has been duly recommended by the Selection Committee to receive an honorary degree from the University of New Haven. I now ask that you bestow upon him posthumously the degree of Engineering Honoris Causa. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, I am pleased to confer posthumously upon Richard O. Kaufman the degree of Doctor of Engineering Honoris Causa. And I should add, Ken and Laura, your father, all of you should know, was the true embodiment, one of the American spirit, but also the embodiment of what UNH is and what makes us a great institution. He represented entrepreneurship, innovation, uh, perseverance, persistence, in ways that I hope all of you can be inspired by. So congratulations for your father, and thank you for being here. Mr. President, it's my honor and privilege to acknowledge now the Honor Scholars. These students who received a medallion at the awards ceremony on May 9th were selected on the basis of their scholarship, character, and professional potential, and they have all completed an honors thesis, a major research project written under the direction of a faculty advisor. Will the Honor Scholar students please stand at their seats? Please join me in congratulating this year's Honor Scholars. As a new provost and vice president for academic affairs, I have the privilege of bestowing the awards upon our Hatfield Scholars. The John D. Hatfield Scholars Program was established through the generosity of Hank and Nancy Bartels in respectful and affectionate memory of our late provost and executive vice president, Dr. John Hatfield. Dr. Hatfield's legacy will live on in the contributions he made to the University of New Haven and in the high achieving students awarded scholarships in his honor. I take great pleasure in presenting this year's honorees. Please hold your applause while the following students come to center stage. Members of the class of 2013 who are graduating today are Amber Bonds, Abigail Freyer, and Brandy Murnau. <laughs> Members of the class of 2014 are Kristen Fobel, Isaac Keifel, and Jacqueline Kubala.
I would now like to introduce our undergraduate student speaker. Please welcome Alexandra M. Hart, <laughs> president of the class of 2013, who is graduating with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice and investigative services. I apologize for my voice. Senior week was pretty awesome, so. <clears throat> To the President, Board of Governors, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, family, over emotional parents, how you doing, Mom? <laughs> board siblings, and most importantly, my fellow classmates. Well, we finally made it. I'm sure some of us wish <clears throat> this day came a little faster, and the rest of us wish we could be a super senior for another semester or two. Whether or not, real life is here. As I sat down and started to think about what I could talk about, I began to think back to freshman year and how young and naive we were. On day one, we entered UNH with a vague notion of who we thought we were, and we're leaving here today knowing who we are and what we stand for. Whether you're walking out of here with a job in the field you've always dreamed about, or you know you aren't going to do anything with the, with the degree you just earned, at least you're leaving with a better knowledge of who you are and how you want to live your life. And as 20-somethings, I think we should be grateful for that. Our world is changing at a rapid pace, and though we may think we are at the disadvantage, it is quite the contrary. We hold the advantage. We have all the power to change the world we live in. Our generation has open minds on what people can do, who they can love, and who they can fight for. Our generation has the power to serve those in need and give back to the people and communities who have gotten us to where we are today. It is the little things in life that make huge impacts. Remember what we learned here at UNH, both inside and outside the classroom. We are a community, and there are always people to help, people to represent, and people who want their voices heard. We have all grown up and transformed into real, functional, independent people who have hold the world at our fingertips. Now is the time in our lives to leave home, backpack through Europe, teach children in a third world country how to read or learn a new language. While we no longer have the excuse of being college students and getting away with stupid things, we have the privilege of experiencing the world and have the power to make a change. At my high school graduation, my older cousins gave me a list of what to do and what not to do in college. The first thing on their list said, every year goes by faster and faster. I thought they were just making it up since high school felt like an eternity <clears throat> and I could only imagine how college would feel. But I was completely wrong because be um, because I blinked one day and it ended up being senior year. It's crazy how time flies when you're having fun or trying to keep your head above the never-ending stacks of work and projects. It seems like only yesterday I was moving into my freshman dorm with the worst case of nerves I've ever had. I remember crying at the mere thought of leaving the life I knew and loved at home and going to a school where I didn't know anyone. Although I was terrified with the thoughts of freshman year, I was thrilled and intrigued of all the experiences that was about to unfold. Thinking back now, I feel silly for being so sad and scared about going to college because it has turned out to be the best and most memorable four years of my life. My time at UNH has been good to me and has allowed me to grow as a student and allowed me to become a better individual with a better understanding view of the world. Now I stand here and can't help, can't help <clears throat> to think that I don't want to leave yet and I'm not ready to go. Think back to what campus looked like on our first tour here. The Beckman Rec Center was brand new. There was no Lee Institute building. The freshman quad had grass. <laughs> Soundview was being built, and the maxi quad looked completely different. And then we actually came here, and it looked like a construction zone, and it took an extra five minutes to walk around the fences. <clears throat> As we leave here today, campus seems to get bigger and bigger with few places to park. It's time to... <laughs> It's hard to wrap my head around how different our community has changed and how it continues to change. I'm excited to come back and visit and see how much our little campus has grown and all the wonderful opportunities it gives to the younger generations. College has been the greatest experience in my life and has given me the opportunity to make lifelong friends and meet extraordinary professors and staff members. Although we leave the place that we've called home for so long, it is important to cherish all the connections and memories made. Remember the fond and maybe not so fond memories and, and treasure them for no matter how many experiences we have in life, we only live through undergraduate life once. I have no doubt that we will go out into the world and do extraordinary things. 
UNH has taught us countless invaluable lessons that we think do not make sense today, but they will with time. We were given the tools on how to be successful people, and now it's time to sort out all the pieces and figure it out ourselves. Remember to live outside your comfort zone, do things that scare you, and welcome new experiences and people into your life. These past four years have given me the countless memories and stories that I will remember for years to come. I'm proud and humbled to have grown up with all of you and call many of you friends. Thank you for allowing me and the rest of the executive board to represent you over the years. I think I can speak for them when I say it's been an amazing ride and I've loved every second of it. Congratulations on all your achievements. I wish you nothing but the good things in life and much success in all your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra, for your remarks today on behalf of students who are receiving their degrees. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of the Alumni Association of the University of New Haven, Mike Ambrose, who received his BS in Mechanical Engineering in 1984. As president of the Alumni Association, Mike will welcome you to your new and duly earned status as alumni of the University of New Haven. The speeches are almost done. President Kaplan, Chairman Bartels, members of the Board of Governors, members of faculty, staff, family, and friends, good morning. And to the University of New Haven class of 2013, congratulations on completing your degree. You are now part of a community of nearly 50,000 other alumni, and I welcome you. I offer to each of you that even though you have completed this important phase of your life and you are preparing for the next, that your journey with UNH is really just beginning. I can say this based on my own experiences and that of so many other alumni who have come before you and have already made a lifelong commitment to UNH. For me, the decision to remain an active part of the UNH community has always been a very easy one. I have and always will have a deep sense of appreciation and gratitude for all that UNH has done for me. And I also know from personal experience that there are many, many other UNH students who have a very similar story to mine. Even though UNH has grown significantly over the decades, it still has retained a cultural DNA that focuses on the individual, preparing each of us to be better prepared both as citizens and also in our careers. It is this commitment to the individual that today is one of the pillars of the alumni board. We know how challenging today's economy is for our, for our graduates. We also recognize that to be successful in today's global economy, you need a global support network. With these facts in mind, the Alumni Board is actively working with the university to reach out and establish national and eventually global networks to help our new and even not so new graduates. I know that there are recent graduates in the audience today who have already benefited from their relationships with the Alumni Board. The sense of giving back to UNH by helping our alumni community is contagious and it's also a lot of fun. And it's something that I hope each of you will embrace as part of your lifelong journey. So on behalf of the nearly 50,000 UNH alumni, I offer my congratulations on completing your degree and I encourage you to maintain and nurture your connections with the UNH throughout your life. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. The Provost Daniel May will now present the candidates for academic degrees as a group, and the President will confer the academic degrees on Moss. Once this has been completed, the President of the Faculty Senate and the respective deans will then present individual candidates to the President. Please hold your applause until all the degrees have been awarded to the candidates. We also request that graduates and their families remain in their seats until the ceremony is completed as a show of respect for the achievement of those receiving degrees today. Mr. President, I have the honor to present the candidates for undergraduate academic degrees. As I designate each group, I ask that they rise and then remain standing until their degrees have been conferred. 
we have 797 candidates from the academic schools of the university. For the associate in science, 39 in number. Please stand. From the College of Arts and Science, for the Bachelor of Arts, 172 in number. Please stand. For the Bachelor of Science, 130 in number. Please stand. From the College of Business, for the Bachelor of Science. Liz will work on you. All right. 103 in number. From the Tagliatella College of Engineering, for the Bachelor of Science, 76 in number. Please stand. From the Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensics. Three hundred and seventy five in number. These candidates have completed their prescribed courses of study, have been examined and recommended by the faculty. Mr. President, I now ask that you confer on these candidates the respective degrees for which they have qualified. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of the University of New Haven, I hereby confer on each of you the degree for which you have been recommended and admit you to the rights, honors, and responsibilities of educated men and women. Congratulations. During the presentation of the diplomas, you will note that a diploma may be presented to a student by a parent or family member who is also a member of the UNH community. This is a university tradition that signifies a unifying of all of our university, university constituencies. President, as Chairman of Faculty Senate, I am proud to present the individual candidates for the Associate in Science degree. Janine McMaster. Helen Tran. Elaine Colvin. Elise Aragani. Jessica Hewitt. Kristen Amy. Nicole Hodgkin. Danielle Lynn. Andrea Manos. Jessica Bennett. Stephanie Bernier. Ali Hadi Al Dawas. Jessica Reyes. Shivani Desai. <laughs> Brittany Burgess. Jenna Pensabini. <laughs> Faisal Saad Alamri. Peter Bontantini. <laughs> Rebecca Massey.
Anna O'Donnell. Kathleen Pittman. Megan Pila. Josephine Dondorfo Amos. Marella Stockai. And we'd like to thank all the associate degrees. Can you give them a round of applause? Thank you. As Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, I am proud to present the individual candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Elizabeth Velasquez. Don Nudian. Christy Collins. Ashley Picarillo. Douglas Sloan, Jr. Mary Gabbis. Bethany Page. Emily Napierski. Bayan Alarishi, excuse me. Jifon Lu, magna cum laude. Victoria Cardoso. Danielle Iacono. Christopher Reffin. James Zapp. Michael Kerrigan. Jenny Roth, cum laude. Brandon Opasinski. <laughs> Mark Spinello, cum laude. Robert O'Donnell. Dylan Bernard, magna cum laude. Mohammed Aliani. <laughs> Jasmine Johnson. <laughs> Meredith Goodridge. Lori Ferrugio. Diana Graham. Dorothy Brennick. Kara Horton. Megan McCool Summa Cum Laude. Christina Smith. Stella Tarbell, cum laude. Yeah. Ashley Campbell, cum laude. Ariella Ruiz. Nicole Order. Rachel Paroli. Danielle Bardinelli. Shana Ambrose, magnum cum laude. Erica Roberts, magna cum laude. Lindsay Knapp. Chelsea Manella, magna cum laude. Re Rebecca Balmian, summa cum laude. Kathleen Corridan, magna cum laude. Chaitanya Sara. Lisa Crab, magna cum laude. Jean Schneider Dohan, magna cum laude. <laughs> Kaylee Groundwater. Joseph Romanelli. <laughs> Christina Gilardi. Rachel Resnick, cum laude. Christina Curry, cum laude. (laughs) 
Mackenzie Gordon. Stephanie Storer, cum laude. Amanda Salon, Salomon, cum laude. Daniela Badalamenti. Alyssa DeLucia, cum laude. Alicia Slobodin, summa cum laude. John Pearson, cum laude. Brianne Storr, cum laude. <laughs> Kirsten Soto, cum laude. <laughs> Margaret Schofield. David Horseman, cum laude. Alexander Gellis. Andrew Kinsey, magna cum laude. Ryan Wheel. Andrew Duarte. Nathan Lacey. Matthew Heath. Congratulations. Thomas Bradian, summa cum laude. Yoshi Mori. Magali Bazana, summa cum laude. <laughs> Matthew Scringe, magna cum laude. <laughs> Whitney Turner. Samantha Roy. Maxwell Steen. Timothy Burke. David Cormier, magna cum laude. Jenna Kouros. Kristen Thomas. Tina Shortino. Sarah Haber. Kylie Hall, magna cum laude. Alex Reisdorf. Justin Sprantz. Benjamin Scherr. Joseph Nicholas. Summa cum laude. Ian Fisher, cum laude. Rachel Aaron, cum laude. Adam Carpentier, magna cum laude. Emily Bodman. Kristen Lining, cum laude. Dana Manjakapra, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Rosalyn Field, magna cum laude. <laughs> Stephanie Kane, magna cum laude. Grace Matera. <laughs> Sean Sintik, summa cum laude. <laughs> Ashley Fox. Mark O'Connor. Christopher Bedry. Jonathan Scranton, cum laude. Kevin Betger, cum laude. Ryan Borowski. <laughs> nah. Paul Manelli. Congratulations, man. Gregory Lake. Jeffrey Butler. Daniel Grab. Anthony Dos Santos. Michelle Moda. Michael Cifarelli. <laughs> Jacqueline Nielsen. 
Aaron Finneran. Camilla Marin. Thomas Dolovic. Magna Cum Laude. Tanu Singh. Colin Bassett. Brian Newman, Summa Cum Laude. Brandy Moreno, Summa Cum Laude. Jamie Beth. Holly Ledoux. Caitlin Noyes. Lindsay Bugrin. Elise Gibson. Brittany Strito. Elga Razmi Tassari. <laughs> James Valentine, congratulations. Maria Wheeler. When I last. Lindsay Fondacaro. Mary Fuller. Kirsten Resso. Lori Aitken. Christina Susi, Magna Cum Laude. Nina Golden. Taylor Schweiger. <laughs> Crystal Robinson. Congratulations. Alyssa Howell. Marie Kristen Deleuze. <laughs> Jennifer Banks. Cora St. Marie. John Kowalski, Magna Cum Laude. Stephen Raythier, Cum Laude. Hannah Nicholas. Marshall Bodiger. Michael Kelly. Samantha Coca, cum laude. Brittany Amafitano. <laughs> Alyssa Albanese. Naixa Rivera. Adam Hemoski. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot Snoke, cum laude. Lauren Michelle Chamberlain. <laughs> Congratulations. Her too. John Fogno. Congratulations, man. Kara Petiti. Stephanie Borden. <laughs> Jeffrey Wandrak. Aza Chia. Christina Tilton. Charles Garner. Congratulations. Maxine Morrency. Christina Mashinsky, cum laude. Brett Buckley. Gerald Jackson. Stephanie, Stephanie Colon Cum Laude. Corey Glover. <laughs> Gerald Lovelace. <laughs> Tashina Andrade. <laughs> Cherie Gale. <laughs> Samantha Tilton, cum laude. Jessica Andretta. Jamika Henry. 
Marcus Daniels. Michael Smearsich, summa cum laude. Zygman. Rebecca Zygman, magna cum laude. Kristen Schmicker, cum laude. Victoria Odinsky. Martha Perez. Kaylee Richter. Shauna Kratz, cum laude. Sarah Pinfold. Kelly Vallette. Lauren Gizzy. Rebecca Coleman. Miguel Tan. Gabriella Vega. Melissa Alamo. Yvonne Mora. Brandon Basel. Michael D'Angelo. Gabrielle Osario. Derek Chelikowski. Kristen Zamuda. <laughs> Liz Fox. Chelsea DeChico. <laughs> Haley Grant. Sarah Jones. <laughs> Rachel Hagen, cum laude. Craig Winkle. David Daniel Smith. <laughs> Amanda Sager, summa cum laude. Alan Boyce. Caitlin Moore, magna cum laude. Alana Barbosa, cum laude. <laughs> Tanya Choktra Kanchai. <laughs> Ashley Marshall, cum laude. Alfred Vincent Garcia, cum laude. Dana Morjeha. Brett Kenyon, cum laude. Ryan James Earl. <laughs> Rebecca Zakharuski. Justin Romine. Christina Shimke, magna cum laude. Okay. And that concludes the College of Arts and Science. Can you give them a round of applause? Thank you. Mr. President, as Dean of the College of Business, I'm proud to present the individual candidates for diplomas. Nicole Apuzo. Jessica Blackwell. Bridget Faria. Kerry Foley. Abigail Lepre. Peter J. Magali Asto. Kristen Russell. Alexander Quinn. Tyler Jones. Troy Sispartas. Joey Rashkumar. 
Ajahn Huggins. Jeffrey Destiny. Andrew Nass. Joseph D'Antonio. Marvin Azar. Danielle Johnson. Tracy Honey. Jessica Gonzalez. Michael Maslak. Daniel Dragasevich. Ashley Biddle, cum laude. Casey Shepherd. Elaine Mateus. Akaki Ramishvili. Joseph Capabianco. Christopher B. Raff. Thomas Deverine. Joshua Paulino. Christopher Buddha. John Vargas. Elliot Pacho. Marco Campos. <laughs> Athena Sutton, cum laude. Chi Dang, summa cum laude. Kesla Medina. Yuta Kramer, summa cum laude. Michael Nelson. Kyle Craven. Micah Stonisifer. Timothy Gear, cum laude. Carrie Lynn Trisinelli. Matthew Del Rosso. Khalid Jakar. Gretchen Frank. Lindsay Melanson. Courtney Park. Gabriella Velasquez. Nikki Weisenberg. Molly Abdelhamid, cum laude. Mark Palmieri, magna cum laude. Richard Long. Okay, thank you very much. Rohania Mu Yin. Brett Harrison. Benjamin Gardner. Matthew Boza, summa cum laude. Bianca Lugo. Jessica Vitillo, cum laude. Yasina Yados. Bryce, Bryce De Rosa. Laura McLaughlin, summa cum laude. Peter Riley, cum laude. Jocelyn Bright, cum laude. Rebecca Hensey, magna, cum laude. Kyla, Ka Kayla Bett. <laughs> Madeline Bloomberg. T. Ann Cole.
Matthew Brown. Richard Fisk. Andrew Lorenzo. Gianna Marciano. Maria Ashento, summa cum laude. Suzanne Adinolfi, magna cum laude. Ingrid Gutierrez. Gisela Vidal. Jason Leon, magna cum laude. Laurie Litwinovich, magna cum laude. Kalaba Kibwe, magna cum laude. Michael Golden. Ilan Kang, cum laude. E Wang. Wang Kui Chu. Rebecca Gordon. <laughs> Kenneth Hall, summa cum laude. Rita Raj Galot. <laughs> Christopher Fenchak. <laughs> A round of applause for the graduates of the College of Business. As Dean of the Tagliatella College of Engineering, I'm proud to announce the individual... <laughs> well, let me try that again. As Dean of the Tagliatella College of Engineering, I'm Hello? It's not on. There we go. <laughs> I'm jinxed. <laughs> As Dean of the Tagliatella College of Engineering, I'm proud to present the individual candidates for their diplomas. Brian Green. Christopher Powers, magna cum laude. Jonathan Voss, summa cum laude. Charles Gabriel. Evan Lucher. Andre Minuk, cum laude. Jeffrey Young, magna cum laude. Joseph Barbadoro. Randy Roy. Ryan Rusansky. Matthew Hawking. Yovito Villalus, summa cum laude. Kristen Pister, cum laude. Go ahead. Andrew Saunders, cum laude. Patrick Danielli. Amanda Blankson. Lynn Duvelson. <laughs> Stefan Borsoy. <laughs> Zachary Wild. <laughs> Natasha Jackson. Adam Sipoli, cum laude. Grace Cotnoir, summa cum laude. Nunez, Nunez, Nunez. Javier Nunez. 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 Lauren Primovic, cum laude. Katrina Durgan. <laughs> Abigail Fryer, summa cum laude. 
Alison Young, magna cum laude. Alyssa Musso, cum laude. Joshua Horwitz, summer cum laude. Emily Sobostanovich, magna cum laude. Matthew Cocuzzo. John Graykonski. Jessamy Kalista, cum laude. Christopher Dolan. Mohammed Al Bayat. Mark Demers. Gabrielle Di Benedetto. Abdul Rahman Arumi. Abdul Latif Ali H. Al Rushad. Cum laude. <laughs> Abdul Masan Al Mulmam. Saud Al Sawaig. Ahmed Agumen. Shanae Neal. Tristian Rosario. John Pentasis, magna cum laude. Ahmed Mazen. Dave Leonquist. Peter Miner, cum laude. Ronald Pena. <laughs> Joseph Ferrucci. Brendan Davila. <laughs> Nicholas Festa. Michael Messenger, summer, cum laude. Stephen Hegedus. Joseph Olnick. <laughs> Michael Diker. <laughs> Kevin Jalbert Jr. Robert Lucas. <laughs> Demetrios Sinikakis. <laughs> Apollonio Montegiano. Daniel Bennett, summa cum laude. A round of applause for the Tagliatella College of Engineering graduates. As Dean of the Henry C. Lee College of Criminal Justice and Forensic Sciences, I am proud to present the individual candidates for their diplomas. Alexandra Hart. Whitney Buckley. Sarah Baldwin. Brandon Fuger. Spalik. Mara Spalik. Victoria O'Connor. Brian Phillips. Brandon Briner, cum laude. Kyle Stevens. Aaron Boulay. Naif Salman A. Al Kahagi. Mohammed Abdullah A. Al Kahadi. Abdullah Alassoum. 
Patrick Noguera. Michael Adames. Kelly Durleth. Michelle. Christine Lecce Cum Laude. Rachel Vassallo Cum Laude. Liam Bauer. Rachel Boris. Rayan Lanzoni. Tatiana Perez. Michelle or Michelli? Gabriella Michelli. Diana Calabrese. Destiny Kukulo. Karina Sheremet Magna Cum Laude. Cameron Venardo. Shinique Ellis Cum Laude. How are you? <laughs> Veratisha Mori Magna Cum Laude. Courtney Kusan. Colleen Decker. Jill Berenger. Guadalupe Alavalo. Jennifer Balabano, cum laude. Brittany Marie Bartlett. David Gallo. Janine John Pierre. Sasha Brignall. Antoinette Roberts, cum laude. Sasha Laidley. Tina Roca, Kyle Ricciatelli, Sean Keeman, Ryan Hojanaki. James Carabetzos. <laughs> Michael Swanson. How are you? David Vieira, magna cum laude. Ian Alexander, cum laude. Giovanni Zeno. Benjamin Borelli, magna cum laude. Kyle Hurley, cum laude. Paul Briones, cum laude. Nicholas Latieri. Alex Dickey, cum laude. Dylan Glocker. Matthew Sheehan. Mark Sicaranzo. <laughs> Stephen Nagy. Jennifer Ian Confessiore. <laughs> Jacob Stark. Michael Friello, George Jarosa, Christian Carfora, Damian Belcars, Justin Batista, cum laude, 
Christina Pace. Heather Lawson, cum laude. Megan McDonald. Eric Romain. Joseph Brown, magna cum laude. Timothy Callahan, summa cum laude. Kimberly Petrillo, magna cum laude. That's a tough one, I don't know. Meredith O'Connor. <laughs> Lindsay Tiroletto, magna cum laude. Nicole Pellini. Christopher Kisak. Pasquale Leto. Lindsay Scott. Roger Martin Jr. Summa Cum Laude. Stephanie Damata. Kirsten Comfort. Erica Alejandra Hernandez. Speruthia Jantel, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Russell, magna cum laude. Shanika Burton. Katie Kapler, magna cum laude. Kirsten McLaughlin, cum laude. Stacy Ramos. Sebastian Arenas. Christopher Festa, summa cum laude. Darius Barbazak. Nathan Goudreau. Tandy Webb. Jennifer Finelli. Nasli Bokari. Christina Hernandez. Caroline McLaughlin. Ashley Adrania. Taylor Reed. Jessica Schwartz. Paul Switek. Taylor Middaw. Melody Mayfield. Lucy Francisco, magna cum laude. Jose Ramos, Jr. Kyle Richards, magna cum laude. Stephen Corona. Cody Wallace. Michael Lounsbury. Edward Norton, magna cum laude. Ashley Rakow, magna cum laude. Deshard Dennison, cum laude. Gina Barisi. Melissa Patron. Christopher Latsunas. Ethan Allen. Kyle Holden. Stephen Palin. 
Julian Campoli. Adam Wolf, magna cum laude. Alexander Long. Gregory Molding. Connor Early, magna cum laude. Christopher Whiting. Jorge Alvarez, cum laude. Alexander Lemaire. Connor Johnson. Timothy Farmer. Anthony Dodelio, cum laude. Scott McGuire, cum laude. Matthew DiCello. Kevin Doria, cum laude. Corey Scott, cum laude. Shannon O'Toole. Jennifer Bruce. Marianne Boyd. Jessica Mosier. Kayla Curtis. Megan Colas, magna cum laude. Vanessa Estebe. Stephanie Pajak. <laughs> Cassandra Rice, cum laude. Megan Avery, magna cum laude. Victoria Carnera, magna cum laude. Stephen Baltus, cum laude. <laughs> Rihanna De Palma, cum laude. <clears throat> Yvette Marie Prieto. <laughs> Rebecca Lees. <laughs> Anthony DeRiso. <laughs> Anthony Feta. Joseph Falvey. Megan Penny, cum laude. Marley Prime. Christopher Dobrinsky, cum laude. Gabriel Baltimore. Andrew Cook. Eden Hoy. Alyssa Tomali. Dwayne Bridge, cum laude. Michael Lacoatando. Jordan Alexander Green Williams. Christopher Juber. Jared Bridge, magna cum laude. Michaela Ferreira, magna cum laude. Melissa McElgin. Leanna Conklin, cum laude. Tess Carroll, magna cum laude. Ashley Vargas. Anacidi Ruiz, cum laude. Allison Maynard.
Ryan Smith. Nicholas DiGeronimo, magna cum laude. Christopher Shea, magna cum laude. Lucas Grochowski. Gary Dupre. Vanessa Martinez. Brittany Comandini, Emily Morgan, Dean Waterman, Good luck, Nick. Nicholas Shirley, Crystal Sheehan, Emily Rue, Adrian Rodriguez Targa, Lynette Gonzalez, Carla Velasquez, Elizabeth Aspina, Whitney Smith Cum Laude. Jeremy Ayala, Bernard Risco, Victor Jones, Ryan Alston, Joshua Smart. Matthew Stiko, Catherine Knobo, cum laude, Michelle Robin Frankel, Sharice Hughes Barnes, Amber Bonds, magna cum laude. Maria Tovar. <laughs> Leah Prusad, cum laude. Jordan Valoroso. <laughs> Alex Straza, cum laude. Lucia Marino. <laughs> Michael Lavoy. Pamela Class. Michael Pochednik. Francis Barlin. Jessica Chandler, magna cum laude. Caitlin Fish, cum laude. Lauren Jacobson, cum laude. Hope Glendon Ross. Dashiell Anderson, magna cum laude. Stephen Nasian. Corey Sanderson, cum laude. Garan Arjan Aljaran. Renee Seal, Matthew Morin, Nicholas Travisano, Megan Zolio, Sarah Doherty, Elizabeth Golden, Renee Haru. Jocelyn Greiner, <clears throat> Jenny Stremlow, Janeska. Janeska Cardona, Angelica Navarro, 
Jessica DiLorenzo. Shannon Hall. Sharia Manic Cum Laude. Rachel Potordi. Magna Cum Laude. Dylan Tillis. Eric Lernold. Ashley Jones. Brianne Angle Magna Cum Laude. I'm glad it worked out for you. Heather Strumminger. <laughs> Stephanie Marie Medina. Jeremy Lynn. <laughs> Carrie Thomas. <laughs> Jason Siegel Cum Laude. Anthony Nelson II, summa cum laude. Katie Prisk. Megan Clemens, cum laude. Catherine Esposito. Caitlin Chandler, cum laude. Amalis Humphrey. Caitlin Bewick. Brittany Jones. Very proud. Lauren Peruella, Magna Cum Laude. Meredith Mason. Jacob Belval. Daniel Ferrelli. Mark Elman, Magna Cum Laude. Jeremy Green. Nicholas Adams. Samuel Clancy. Tyler Young. Catherine Panic. Michelle Topazio Cum Laude. Nicholas Garofalo Cum Laude. Kirsty Brady. Rebecca Warner. Cum Laude, Ryan Onofrio, Magna Cum Laude, Derek W. Martin, Chrisasha Harry, Shawnice Bennett, Kelly Broom, Magna Cum Laude, Jennifer Miller, magna cum laude. Marley Bach. <laughs> Timothy Fournier, cum laude. I would say I was <laughs> Reggie Lee. Adam Ragusa, summa cum laude. <clears throat> Chelsea Isom, cum laude. Yelena Kalad, magna cum laude. Anthony Graff, United States Marine Corps. Evan French, cum laude. Alexander Dyer. Dana Carabillo, magna cum laude. Serena Aragon. 
Zachary Raymond. Leah Persano, cum laude. Justin Marston. Samantha Lines. Melody Fadoon. Morgan Strike, cum laude. Ashley Brocklebank. Matthew Canastracy. Rebecca Cervelloni. Nathan Walker Cum Laude. Brian Bertrand. Ashley Cartelli Magna Cum Laude. Michael Rapetsky, cum laude. Michelle Hernandez. Finally, huh? <laughs> Heather Smith, cum laude. <laughs> Melissa Brotman. Sarah Griffin, cum laude. Amanda Fauser, summa cum laude. Marissa Baikowski, cum laude. Megan Perez, cum laude. Aaron Cologne. Patrick Kellen. Kyle Long. Joshua Dallas, cum laude. William Sheehan. Jeffrey Lynn. Shelby Pickering, cum laude. Kevin McLaughlin, cum laude. Brendan Hawley. James Foley. Cody Flabeau. Joel Rodriguez. Austin Coleman. Congratulations to the graduates of the Henry C. Lee College. Thank you. So I don't want to put Dr. Lee on the spot, but I will. This was the first time I asked him to stand in my place to shake hands uh, with the graduates of the Lee College. In other words, we should make this a tradition, right? There we go. Graduates, obviously you should be very proud, family members, faculty, staff, all of us are very proud of you. Someone told me a few days ago that Woody Allen did a commencement speech that was apparently one of the shortest, if not the shortest ever. He got up in front of the graduating class and he said, we're giving you a perfect world, don't screw it up. <laughs> uh, I, I wish he were right, but I think implicit in what he was saying was, we're in fact leaving you a very imperfect world and we expect all of you to make it much better.
We have great faith in each of and every, in every one of you, and we're particularly optimistic about what you can do for others in the society and for the society at large and for our nation because we know that you got something very special that no one else besides you on this day uh, can celebrate, and that is a University of New Haven, New Haven education. So congratulations. This will bring our ceremony to a conclusion, but certainly I'm sure not the celebration. We ask that members of the audience remain standing at their places until the last students have left the theater. At the conclusion of the recessional, the stage party will leave first, followed by the students, followed by the remaining members of the audience. Before we recess, I want to take a moment to thank our staff and volunteers, there are many of them, for their outstanding efforts to make this day so special for the graduates uh, and their families. An event of this magnitude is not possible without the hard work of many, many people, and I'm grateful to each of them, and especially uh, to a few individuals in particular uh, who are in my office uh, and who are responsible for special events, uh, who really put countless months of preparation into this event, Jill Zamparo, Jennifer Fasikas, and Gail Tagliatella. And now, as they say, the moment you've been waiting for. <laughs> Graduates, as the final act of these ceremonies, to symbolize your rite of passage into the community of scholars, please move the tassel of your mortarboard from right to left. Congratulations, enjoy your time with your family and friends, and we look forward to having you back on campus often and in deep and significant ways. This ends our 2013 undergraduate commencement ceremony.